Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on polar curves, polar coordinates and tangents to a curve. So if you'd like to give this a go, if you haven't uh, had a chance to read it, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can compare your workings and methods against mine. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So let's just run through the question then. What we've got is a tangent to the curve C at the point P here is perpendicular to the initial line. So let's just draw that in something like that, okay? And we've now got to find the polar coordinates of this point P. Now what's special about this is because this tangent is perpendicular, then if I was to draw a triangle in here, we'll go straight the way down to the initial line, so that's perpendicular to the initial line, then if I call this distance x, we know that OP is R, and we know that the angle from the initial line is theta. But what is so special about this is that x is at its maximum, okay, in this interval here. So what we need to do is try and work out what that maximum value of x is for a given value of theta. And that should link us into the coordinates of the point P. So let's take the equation of the curve. We know the curve is given by r equals 1 plus tan theta. And we know that by trigonometry, x must be equal to r cosine theta. So we've got a couple of equations here, which we'll call 1 and 2. And what I'm going to do is substitute equation 1 into equation 2. And that will give us a relationship between x and theta. So if we just come down there, what we've got is therefore x will be equal to, and in place of r then we've got 1 plus tan theta, 1 plus tan theta, and that is all multiplied by cosine theta. Now you could differentiate this by the product rule, it's up to you, but what I'm going to do is expand this first of all, just to give me cosine of theta plus sine theta. And we'll just call that x again there. So what I need to do is differentiate x with respect to theta. And doing that, we're going to get minus sine theta and plus cosine theta. Now what we're trying to do is maximize x. So we know that's when dx by d theta equals zero. So in other words, what we've got here is that minus sine theta plus cosine of theta equals zero. And very easy equation because rearranging this is just going to give us tan theta equals one. And we're working in radians and the inverse tan of one gives us theta equals pi upon four radians. So it's just a case now of saying that when theta is pi upon 4, and then if we substitute this into 1, therefore r must be equal to 2. So we need the coordinates of point P, so P is given as r theta, so it's going to be 2 and then pi upon 4. Okay, 